This tutorial provides an overview of tools for users to find materials available in the Special Collections Research Center and SWIM Library. Although it is the goal of Special Collections to provide access to all of our collections through one search engine, at the present time it is necessary to consult multiple online tools and catalogs to begin the research process. Users will find links to and more information about all of the tools described here on the Access Tools homepage. The Collections Database is the most comprehensive tool to use when searching for manuscripts and archives material. Descriptions available online range from brief records to complete finding aids, which are documents containing detailed information that you can use to determine if a collection is relevant to your research. To use the Collections Database, users may begin by conducting a keyword search or browsing by collection title, author, or subject. To conduct a keyword search, type a term or phrase into the search box in the upper right-hand corner of the database homepage. Search results are organized by collections, creators, subject headings, or digital images that contain the keywords entered in the search. If the keyword search returns too many results, you can narrow the search criteria by including double quotation marks around the query or using a minus sign to exclude any items from your search. For instance, Thomas minus Jefferson finds people named Thomas, not Thomas Jefferson. Finding aids can be found by browsing collection titles, record groups, subjects, or creators. To do this, click on the appropriate link in the box on the left side of any collections database screen. Some results may yield digital images and records that users may use without visiting special collections. However, many items in special collections remain to be digitized. If you find something that is relevant to your research, Finding aids and other documents can be placed in a virtual shopping cart to be saved for later use. To do this, simply click on the shopping cart icon next to the collection title. For more detailed information on how to use the collections database, please consult the video tutorial called Using the Special Collections Research Center's Collections Database on the SCRC's website or YouTube page. This is the College of William & Mary's online repository of student and faculty research and other material. The database is searchable by keyword terms, issue date, author, subject, or discipline. You can also browse by community or collection if you know specifically where your item of interest is located. In addition to student and faculty work, issues of undergraduate publications, summer research, and oral histories are also available in this database. There is a color-coded catalog in Special Collections that indexes people, subjects, and William & Mary publications. An online version of the Archives card catalog is also available. While the Collections Database is the first place to go for access to all collections, the University Archives card catalog sometimes provides more detailed results in regards to researching particular people or topics. By entering a search query in the field at the top of the University Archives online card catalog page, users can access the people, subject, and publication cards of the University Archives that have been digitized. Note that users may also wish to double-check results found in the online card catalog with the original card catalog in Special Collections, as omissions have been noted in the online version. SWIM Library's online catalog contains brief descriptions of rare books, newspapers, and some processed manuscripts. William & Mary doctoral dissertations, master's theses, senior honors theses, and other selected university archives publications are also indexed in the online catalog. To find items in SWIM's manuscripts collections through the library catalog, go to the search page and click on the advanced search feature. Select SWIM library as the library and manuscripts as the item type. Additional keywords and other search criteria can be added to the search fields to narrow results. Rare books can also be found by selecting rare books instead of manuscripts as the item type. The student newspaper, The Flat Hat, is a rich source of information for researchers looking for information about the College of William & Mary in the 20th century. It began publication in October 1911 and, except during the fall of 1918, has been continuously published ever since. While most issues are available online, they are not all fully searchable, but are available for browsing. A card catalog organized by subject and personal name can be accessed on-site in the Special Collections Research Center to find information in the flat hat that may not be available through the search function. The Alumni Gazette and William & Mary News are also indexed in this card catalog, but neither publication is available online. The Virginia Heritage Project is a database of finding aids to archival collections in Virginia. Currently, over 20 institutions, including the College of William & Mary, contribute to the database. 
The contents of the database represent only a small percentage of William & Mary's holdings, so users should also check the collections database for complete William & Mary results. The Special Collections staff has also compiled subject guides to aid you in your research. These guides include information about manuscripts, books, periodicals, and other material in Special Collections that may be helpful to you in researching a variety of topics. These topics include choosing a potential thesis topic, genealogical research, African American studies, the U.S. Civil War, early American history, World War II, and other things. Special Collections also has its own wiki that contains information including frequently asked questions and quick facts related to Special Collections holdings that may be useful to you. The wiki is organized by categories, but can also be searched by keyword. Information is added on a regular basis. Other online tools are available that can help you stay informed about news and events related to the SCRC. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, iTunes, Flickr, and elsewhere to stay informed. Also remember that you can always contact the staff of the Special Collections Research Center via email, phone, or in person at Swim Library if you have any questions. The staff is happy to assist and looks forward to your next visit.